Angeles. Uh, when you reply, see the angle of the long term, you can see, not you, but you can see that, you can see. Good evening, dear friends. We begin with the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary. And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done according to me, according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us Let us pray. Pour forth, Pour forth we, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, that we tomb, tomb the incarnation of Christ, Christ your Son, son was, was made, made known by the message of an angel. May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, resurrection to the Christ same our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our entrance hymn, number 276. Love lifted me, number 276. I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore, very deeply stained within, sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea Heard my despairing cry From the waters lifted me Now safe am I Love lifted me Love lifted me When nothing else could help Love lifted me Love lifted me Love lifted me when nothing else could help, love lifted me. Good evening, my brothers and sisters. Today's Mass is offered for the following intentions. Today is the first death anniversary of Henry Gomes. Man's Mind Mass for Clarence Pereira and Mary D'Souza. We also pray for the souls of Stephen D'Souza, Dolcey, and Sylvester Baptista, but the blessings for Neville Gomes and Devinia Lobo Sharma. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Charles, the martyr, the martyrs of Uganda, who shed the blood to spread the kingdom of God in this world, to tell about Christ. And today's gospel, we see Jesus is very clear that we cannot express our love for God without expressing our love for our neighbor. And this pandemic has given us a golden opportunity to reach out to many people a single word of kindness, a single gesture of kindness can touch many hearts. Let's pause for a while as we prepare to celebrate this Eucharistic celebration. Call to our minds our sinful desire, sinful act. 
At the times our religion has become just a part of rituals. At the times our love is limited to our family members and friends and relatives. We ask pardon and forgiveness by saying I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you my, my brothers, brothers and, and sisters that I have greatly sinned. sinned. In my, in my thoughts and, and in, in my words, words in what, what I have done, done and what, and I, what have I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, through my most, most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, Virgin, all the all angels and, and saints, and to and you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters, to pray for me to, to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians, mercifully grant that the field which is your church, watered by the blood shed by Saint Charles Wangas and his companions, may be fertile and always yield you an abundant harvest through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever Amen A reading from the book of Tobit In those days when the, he entered Media and was already drawing near to Ibatana, Raphael said to the youth, Brother Tobes, and he said to him, Here I am. And Raphael said to him, We must lodge tonight with the family of Raguel. The man is your, a relative of yours, and he has a daughter named Sarah. He has no male child nor daughter, but only Sarah, and you are nearest kin to her, more entitled than all other men to inherit her, and it is right for you to inherit all that belongs to her father. The girl is sensible, courageous, and very beautiful, and her father is honorable. When they entered Ebatana, they found Regul seated beside the door of the courtyard. They greeted him first, and he said to them, Many greetings, brothers, welcome and good health to you. And he led them into his house. Then he killed the ram from the flock and welcomed them earnestly. When they had bathed and washed themselves and reclined at table to eat, Tobias said to Raphael, Brother Azarius, speak to Raguel, then he might give Sarah, my sister, to me. Raguel heard this and said to the youth, Eat, drink, and be merry this night, for there is no person for whom it is proper to take Sarah, my daughter, besides you. Likewise, I myself do not have authority to give her to another man besides you, for you are nearest kin to me. But I will nevertheless explain the truth to you, child. I gave her to seven husbands from among our brothers, and they all died the night on which they were going in to be with her. But now, child, eat and drink, and the Lord will act among you. And Tobias said, I will surely eat nothing here, nor will I drink until you settle the matters that concern me. So Raguel said to him, I hereby do it, and she is given to you according to the judgment of the books of Moses. It has been decided from heaven 
that she be given to you. Receive your sister. From now on, you are her brother and she your sister. She is given to you from today and forever. And may the Lord of heaven lead you both on a good path this night, child. And may he bring mercy and peace upon you both. Then Ragul called his daughter Sarah, and she came to him. And taking her by the hand, he gave her to Tobias and said, Receive your wife given to you according to the law, and according to the judgment written in the book of Moses. Take her and go to your father safe and sound. And may the God of heaven prosper your way in peace. And Ragul called Edna, his wife, and said to her, Sister, prepare the other room and lead Sarah there. So she proceeded to furnish the room as he said to her and led her there. When they had finished eating and drinking, they wanted to go to sleep. So they escorted the youth and led him to the other room. And they came and shut the door of the private room. Tobias arose from the bed and said to Sarah, Sister, get up, let us pray and plead with our Lord that he might bring us mercy and deliverance. So she arose and they began to pray and plead that deliverance might come to them and he began to say, Blessed are you, O God of our fathers, and blessed is your name through all the ages and generations. Let the heavens and every creature bless you through the ages. You made Adam and you made his wife Eve for him as a helper and support. From them, both the offsprings of mankind came into being. You said, it is not good for the man to be alone. Let us make a helper for him like himself. And now it is not because of lust that I am taking his, this sister of mine but with sincerity. Grant that she and I may find mercy and that we may grow old together. And they said together, Amen, Amen. Then they both went to sleep for the night. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Your response to the psalm. Blessed are all who fear the Lord. All together. Blessed, Blessed are all who fear the Lord. Blessed are all who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. By the labor of your hands you shall eat. You will be pleased. You will be blessed and prosper. Your response. Blessed, Blessed are, are all who fear the Lord. Your wife like a fruitful vine in the heart of your house. Your children like shoots of the olive around your table. Your response. Blessed are all who fear the Lord. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion. May you see Jerusalem prosper all the days of your life. Your response. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia. 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 Our Savior Christ Jesus abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint mark glory to you o lord at that time one of the scribes came up and asked jesus which commandment is the most important of all 
Jesus answered, The most important is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. And the scribes said to him, You are right, teacher. You have truly said that he is one, and there is no other besides him and to love him with all the heart and with all the understanding and with all the strength and to love one's neighbor as oneself is much more than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered wisely he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And after that, no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in today's gospel we see Jesus was asked a question, which commandment is first of all? We are not sure of the intention of asking this question. Maybe the scribes want to trap Jesus, they want to check the knowledge of Jesus, or honestly want to understand the theology behind this. We are not sure of the intention, but this question was asked to Jesus. And let's go back in the Old Testament. God had issued the Ten Commandments to the people of Israel to indicate that they are the chosen people. And these are the guidelines by which they have to show their loyalty and dedication to God, that they are the chosen people. And this becomes the guideline for them to do God's will in their life. The Ten Commandments were very simple and direct. The first three commandments oriented towards our relationship to God and the remaining seven one, our relationship to others. And these Ten Commandments demanded a total commitment from all these people to walk the way of God. But in course of time we see it resulted into 613 commandments 365 commandments started with you shall not and 248 started with you shall and therefore the life was guided by do's and don'ts and today's question we see which is the most important of all this all word becomes very important because when Jesus answered Jesus said you shall love your Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. And what is the meaning of this word all? The word all demands and commands the complete loving. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, love of God and love of neighbors. These are the two sides of the same coin. Through the life and on death on the cross, Jesus has showed this twofold love first to the Father by fulfilling the mission he came into this world and to the human beings by offering them salvation and therefore the same Jesus is inviting all of us to inherit the same love love of God and love of neighbor today we pray for this grace
of a tree. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this bread we offer, fruit of the earth, work of our hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this wine we offer, fruit of the vine, work of our hands. It will become the cup of joy. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, with this bread and wine, we offer ourselves, our family members, our community members. We continue to pray for all the farmers, all the prisoners, all the doctors, nurses, teachers. We also continue to pray for Father Stan. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer your sacrifice, O Lord, humbly praying that as you granted the blessed martyrs grace to die rather than sin, so you may bring us to minister at your altar in dedication to your alone through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We are lifting them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God for the blood of your blessed martyr Charles poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth the marvelous works by which in our weaknesses you perfect your power and on feeble bestow strength to bear you witnesses through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of God. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the Hosanna in the highest, holy is the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord. 
the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let's proclaim the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Let's pause for a while, pray for the departed souls and souls in purgatory. We especially pray for the soul of Henry Gomes, Clarence Pereira, Mary D'Souza, Stephen D'Souza, Dolce and Sylvester Baptista. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, St. Ignatius, Francis, Xavier, with the Blessed Apostle, St. Peter, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, our, our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, 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 thy, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us give today us our, daily our daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, we as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. And lead and us not, not into temptation, into temptation but, but deliver us, us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let's pause for a while, pray for peace. Peace in our hearts, in our family, in our community, in our parish, in our world. Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen.
The peace of the Lord be always with you and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are all of us, those who are invited to supper with him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Body and blood of Christ and everlasting life to you. Amen. For those following this Eucharist online, we prepare our hearts to receive Jesus in spiritual communion. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot receive you now in your sacramental presence, I request you to come spiritually into my life, to enrich me with your holy presence, and to make me truly your own forever. May I become more charitable and just in all my relationships. And may I be ready to accept suffering when that is the most loving thing to do. May I recognize you in the members of my family, the domestic church, where you are really present. Lord Jesus, thank you for the courage and wisdom you give me through this sacramental communion. And may your life shine through me. Amen. A communion hymn number 275, Love It Was That Made Us. 275. Love it was that made us, and it was love that saved us. Love was God's plan when he made man. God's divine nature is love. Born of God's love, we must love Him. That's why He made us to love Him. But only when we love all men can we partake of God's love. But only when we love all men can we partake of God's love.
prayer do during the pandemic. Almighty and eternal God, provident Father in every danger, turn your loving gaze toward us, who with faith implore you in this time of tribulation. Grant eternal rest to the diseased, peace to those who are dying, health to the sick, comfort to those who weep. Grant fortitude to persons struggling to make ends meet, strength to the healthcare provider, wisdom to our civil authorities, and give us a warm heart to draw near. Let us pray. We have received this divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs. May what help them to endure torment, we pray, make us in the face of trials, steadfast in faith and in charity, through Christ our Lord, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks. be to God. A final hymn, number 141, Great uh, Love and Friendship. Number 141. Greater love and friendship has no man than this, that he die for others, give his life for all. No more are you servants, I have called you friends. All my father told me, I made known to you. Without you I am nothing, my weakness needs your strength. So speak, Lord, to your servant, I'm waiting for your 